Number six, you've got to sell to the niche. I've seen many stories of people who've made thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars selling shirts online and they consistently are recommending that you've got to make these niche sales. A niche is, for example, a group of people who like a certain baseball team. That's a niche. Or selling to people with a certain name. That's a niche. That basically you've got to sell to the niche and that's where the money is. And I'm going to say the exact opposite. That at least to start and build your business, the niche needs to be making shirts you love to wear. Instead of thinking about the niche, I've tried so many different angles on selling to this group of people or that group of people. It doesn't work very well most of the time. And that means it takes a lot of energy and effort and aggravation to try and find a niche. The easiest thing to do is just make shirts you love wearing. Just make shirts you are proud. Make a shirt that the biggest difference in selling shirts and merchandise is zero purchases to one. That's the biggest difference and the most effective way to promote your shirts for the very lowest cost and enjoy the rewards of them is as follows. Look, I've got my own shirt on. That is the very easiest and most effective way. If you won't buy your own shirts, then why even bother designing them? You've got to be able to at least buy your own shirts. So I'm grateful today that as I design shirts, I'm not trying to sell to a niche. I'm essentially trying to sell to myself. I'm making shirts for me. So in making shirts for me, you could say, well, that's the ultimate niche. You're making shirts for yourself. I'm making shirts that I want to wear, that I want other people to love and enjoy. I'm making shirts for me so that takes out the need to try and manipulate and say, well, I'm going to make shirts for people named Jerry or I'm going to make shirts for this team or that team. Almost all the things I've done in trying to sell to a niche have either got me in trouble for breaking rules and making unofficial merchandise or they've been a complete waste of time. I've made a bunch of shirts like Honey Badger Don't Care that I never wore or I've wasted a ton of time selling to the niche. So one of the biggest myths I can bust is that selling to the niche is a good idea. Let other people go try and work all the niches. What I try and do is just essentially, if I can sell myself, if I can make a design that I'm willing to shell out 20 bucks for to have printed, that I'm willing to wear around, then I've made something that maybe other people will want to wear, and then I'm not limited to fans of a certain team. I'm not limited to a certain type of people. I can sell to anyone then who might like a similar design. And that's what you really want. You want to make something that the masses would be capable of buying. Like I made some of these little heart pants on my most recent design here. I mean, you could say, well, these are a niche. I'll scroll over and show you these. You could say, well, these are a niche. That's a very certain person. I don't know who exactly would want to buy these leggings, but from my point of view, these are mass market. These are things that potentially anyone who speaks English anywhere in the world could buy these. Now, to me, that is way better than trying to do something like sell to a specific niche because I, there's probably 100 million people who could buy these. So I'd And I think these are awesome. I'm going to try and sell my wife and see if she wants to get a pair. That might be, if I can't sell my wife on it, then it's probably not going to be that great of a product. You see, forget selling the niche. Just